Hey everyone, BTM Kiwi here again with another Forza Horizon 5 Forzathon, and this week we need to own and drive the 1993 Renault Clio Williams. We then need to earn a two stars at Trailblazers in it. Then we need to spend 20,000 on upgrades, and then we need to get a total of three stars at Speed Traps. Uh, that's going to be a bit annoying, the spend money one. Um, but we'll make do. If I haven't already got an upgrade package for it or tune for it i'll grab one just to put it at the top of the current class it naturally resides in and then for the money expenditure the money one we'll just put up a class and that should be enough all right uh, my daily is spend 10,000 credits on upgrades on any Porsche and earn 10 air skills at the Horizon Baja outpost or Baja, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, two event lab events, three actually. Um, got two speed trap PR events and then a drift zone. And this championship down here gives us a new car, the Lotus Esprit V8, uh, which is new to this game, not new to Forza though. A treasure hunt, nice and easy. Um, just use the car and the the um, photo there, the Fiat 500, um, but the A bath version. Um, if there if there is like a a regular Fiat version and then the A bath version, um, and yeah, you get one star or more in a super jump, and then our photo challenge is take a photo of the um, Lotus Esprit V8, which. If you don't already um, have it from doing the championship, you can just go into this Rivals event here and do it here. Uh, and yeah, our Forzathon shop for this week is the Ferrari Enzo and the McLaren Senna. So grab those if you don't already have it. And the Hot Wheels suit as well. That's actually what I use. And this week's rewards is the Mercedes Mercedes Benz AMG SL63, which is a new car to this game. I don't know if it's new to Forza. Um, and the Mini Cooper 1965 Forza Edition. Welcome back, Braden. All right, it doesn't look like I've done anything to it, so that's good. Alright, let's grab a paint job, grab a basic tune, and then we can head off. this the rally version because I do remember the um, livery that it had or that Renault had I don't know if this car specifically had it I can't remember but I definitely recognize the livery Just go off this, it's not like I'm staying at C class. I wonder if it's going to be retroactive because I just spent over the 20,000 there.
really hate how it does that right from the get-go. I don't give a shit. And I wish it would stop it. Alright, two stars, trailblazers. Because it just takes up unnecessary time at the start. If I want to join online, I'll select online when I leave. Like, it's so invasive. Five stars there. Jeez. Surely that's a cheat. There's no way. Back in the day when they had those launching cheats where you could get someone to smash into you and it would launch you at super high speed. Probably. Anywho. <laughs> Jump up to B class. I suppose that'll be good as anything. I know it's drag tires, but... Trap three stars. So it probably needs to go a bit higher than that. Um, where's a small slow speed trap? Definitely asking for a bit much, isn't it, from this car? Three stars at speed traps. I just earn three stars at speed traps. Okay, I don't need to get three stars at a speed trap. Okay. Well, that's kinda. It'll be nice to get it in one go though, so we'll try here.
400 meters, turn right. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Here we go, there's our weekly done. A class Mercedes AMG. Turn around. Let's see if this Mercedes is any good at drifting. I doubt it. It's got drag ties on. It'll be too grippy. It's got the talk for it. When it is safe to do so. Not bad. Did better than what I thought it would. All right, let's get this treasure chant. Treasure hunt. I don't know. I say treasure chant. One star at a jump. All right, where's a nice simple one? One star at this one is, oh, that's easy. Surely even this car can do that. What a nice, nice sand car.
Kirby. You have arrived at your destination. Is that two stars? Two stars. Damn. Not even two stars, but not bad for a D class car. Should have sent that Forza Edition car to someone. But it's quite a common one, so I just thought maybe there's been no point, but I should have probably still just done it. Same as the Ferrari Dino, it's pretty rare. But being a Ferrari, it's probably a car that most people already have bought early, or one of their cars that they've made a purchase of since it's a more affordable Ferrari. is going to conclude this week's force -thon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that follow button, like, subscribe, all that other stuff. Um, drop a comment on things you'd like to see me do next or things you think I could do better with or just to pop in to say hey. And I hope you're having a great day or great night wherever in the world you are. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one.